What's going on YouTube? This big pencil coming at you again with a nut. Figured I'd do a little catch and cook today and just got off of work. Had to fix the tie on the tractor to get ready for a dove field this year. And I was over here and this pond has got a lot of bass in it that need to come out. It's overrun. I mean, I caught nine the other day and ain't but one of them had anything in their stomach. They just ain't no food in here for them to eat. To support all these bass that's in here so i'm gonna catch a few fish fry them up for dinner tonight and i'm gonna bring y'all along and show y'all how i do it stand by we'll go catch some fish all right what i'm throwing is probably just these two here for the most part an old chartreuse black back square bill with a old baby brush hog texas rig on the bottom they eat that up pretty good in here so we ought not have no problem catching some fish for dinner anyway. Let's get to it. Well, that happened kind of quick. He wanted that. There's the first fish. About two and a half pounds. He's a little big though. I'm gonna throw him back. I don't want to eat him. Say bye to the old gal and toss her back in there. Make, go make babies. Bye bye. Oh yeah. A good eating size for you. That's what we want there. Good eating side bear. Put him in. Finally. Bass number two for the skillet. One more throw, that's it. Oh yeah. That's what that's the way I like to end the day. On a good old top water spook fish. That one there'll do just right in the frying pan. He go all right, we're gonna clean up a bass fish that we caught. The way I like to do it, I'ma fillet these out. I don't normally fillet them out if it's a brim or a crappy, but these bass are kind of big to fit in the skillet. I take a butter knife, rake the scales off of them. But I like to leave the skin on mine. You've done it many times as I have. It don't take long to knock the hide off these fish, especially when they're good and fresh. The way I like to cut the heads off, take my fillet knife right below the gill plate, cut him. What's that nose, Mom? Callie, I'm doing something, Callie. You don't oh, want to be ooh. all loud. Oh, Dad. What's that? Squeeze his head off. I see this, Dad. See you? Dad, what did you do, Dad? Take his guts out, and that's it. Rinse him off. What did you do this for, Dad? He's clean. What did you do this for, Dad? I'll stop it right what now. What did you do this? All right. The way I like to fillet him out. Right behind the gills, cut him down good. I like to start back here at the tail, all the way down to the bone. And that'll it get me started good. Then I come, come up this way with him. Just 
slice him right down his his rib bones and you know, all like that. This would work a little easy if I had a sharper knife to work with. That's it. Nice clean fillet. I like to leave skin on them. That's just me. All right. All right. This is the final step. Frying them up. I got. I filleted one out and just cleaned the other two. I cut that tail there off. That's the best part of the whole fish right there. It's like a tater chip. What I'm going to do, a little bit of seasoned salt. I ain't got no Lowry's. I get old cheap clear value brand season salt fried up some peanut oil this stuff here is mighty good louisiana fish fry mighty good stuff that and a little season salt that thing be mighty good boy i tell you you could take a dog turd and wrap that sucker in bacon put your little lowry's on it fry it in peanut oil and i'm telling you that thing might be mighty daggone good as long as you got it cooking in a cast iron skillet you in good shape. Get that grease hot. We're going to drop them in as soon as I season them up in. Alright, I'm going to season them up in a little bit. You ain't got to kill it. Because that fish fry has got seasoning in it. And that's about it. Do that on each side. That's all you got to do. Dush them in that fish fry and you're ready to go. All righty, we got the first pieces in the grease. Just the way I like to see it. Get nice, crispy, and golden brown. You don't want your grease too hot. You don't want to burn your pan up. That's for sure. You burn your pan, you're going to burn your fish. You don't want burn fish. Cooking a little pot of grits to go along with it. Ought to be a pretty good meal. And these pieces have been cooking about three, four minutes. It ain't going to be much longer for them. I usually keep my eye about seven. If you're doing a lot of fish, you won't, don't want to do it that low, that high. Once you get it up to good and, and frying, you want to drop it down a little bit. Because the more fish you do, the hotter it's going to get, and you'll end up burning your pan up. Alrighty, we got the whole ones in the grease. Everything's looking smooth. That's the. I'm going to sample this tail here. In, in a minute, it's a little warm. It's looking good. Try out this tail here. Mmm. Well, oh, that's good. That is good. Delicious. More of rich people. If rich people ain't eat this good, I don't want to be rich. That's some good eating there. Mmm. All right, Callie's gonna test out the fish. Take a bite. Is it good? Yeah, you like it? There you have it, folks. Confirmation from the three-year-old. She likes to fish. She'll eat it all, too. All right, we got the grits done. A couple pieces of fish still frying. Callie's back asking for more already. Daddy, but that's all right. I got plenty. More, you want more? Yeah. Yeah, you want more? There you go. There you go. You can have all you want. And that's how Big Pencil does it. Catch and cook all in a day. Good eating fish. Y'all got any ideas for another video? Y'all hit me up in the comment section below. This is Big Pencil, and we will be back with another one soon.